Hello YouTube, it's William. Um, somebody had asked me uh, after the test that I did with the uh, 01 and CPM 154 doing the cardboard cutting. I looked at it later and, and I had tape and everything else on it. So um, this is going to be an equal test. The only 1095 I have is the uh, my personal um, hogstooth. So um, I don't know if it's going to be a fair test or not, but we're going to try it. Um, if I recall right, there was 70, I think there was 72 or 74 uh, cuts. This blade is longer. Give you a comparison. This is the the 01 blade that I used. So it's quite a bit of difference. It, well, it's about an inch longer. It has a curve and a recurve, which, in my opinion, slices better. So that's a disadvantage or an advantage to the the 1095. This is a 3 16 full flat, so, but anyway, hopefully it'll give it a reasonable comparison uh, on edge retention, okay? Not slicing ability, but edge retention. All right, so, um, give you an idea. The blade is, is fairly sharp, okay? So, let's get started. I'll get that account to 70, 72. Let's start with that and see what happens. Okay, that's 40. Six. It's starting to get a little difficult now. Of sharp that was 72 I mean I, it, I was cutting through tape as well so I don't know if that's a really a fair comparison it'll still cut not as well uh, will it shave and shave a little bit it's not as well as the uh, the others would and it's about what I expected um, I mean, 1095 is a good steel, and I have, uh, my heat treat is about as best as you can get on a, on a 1095. So, I mean, it shaves just a little bit, but not, not really enough to say it's shaving. So, <clears throat> it's almost as good, but not quite. And that is on in my shop and the way I heat treat. Uh, my 1095 is uh, probably heat treated at around uh, 59, 58, 59. Uh, close to 60, I don't think it, 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 it gets to quite the 60 mark, but um, it holds up well to, to chopping, has flexibility, and I think it's just uh, the best optimum heat treat for 1095. Whereas 01, I get a little above 60 in 01, and it still maintains some flexibility and uh, some durability on the edge as the test proved the other day. 
So, I hope that answered y'all's questions. Um, I don't, that's about as fair as, as I have right now. I don't have uh, exact blade styles to compare all three different types of steel, but uh, maybe at least you can get uh, an idea. Uh, 1095 is a good basic steel, um, but then you start getting better grades of steel in the 01, and then you start getting the crucible steels, which they should hold up better because that's what they're designed to do. <laughs> so, anyway, until the next one, you guys get out in the backyard with a little stick. Test your knife edges with cardboard. I've, I've had uh, comments about using rope and all kinds of things. Um, to be honest, uh, I think that the better test is the cardboard because cardboard will dull a knife quicker than anything I've ever seen. Um, rope doesn't have the grit and the dirt and everything else in, like cardboard does. And especially this cardboard because it's been sitting in my shop and, and you can see all the dirt and the dust that's on it. So um, it's a very good test of how it cuts through dirt and grime and grit. It's like taking sandpaper to the edge of your knife. Whereas rope, it just it, you only get a certain part of the blade when you're slicing. Whereas this, you get the entire length of the blade as you're slicing. So that's my opinion. So until the next one, you guys get out in the woods. Go in the backyard, whittle on a stick, take a child with you. Teach that child how to whittle on a stick. If you do, take plenty of band-aids and lots of knives. We'll catch you again soon.